Mellow Mike here. Wanted to talk a few minutes about the uh, the benefits of solar power and how you can use it in your truck camper rig. Um, if you don't know much about solar power, there are a lot of benefits, of course. Um, number one is you don't have to uh, be dependent upon RV parks, campgrounds to get your electricity. You can uh, really have true independence if you um, install a a good solar power system on your on your truck camper on the roof of your truck camper you could certainly lug around a generator too I mean that's an option too if you um, you want to be independent from those type of places um, but to me the the cons really outnumber the, the pros I mean I'm really not interested in hauling around a a 150 pound generator or a 50 pound generator to me that just doesn't appeal at all uh, not to mention having to lug around gas cans and dealing with the smell and the spills um, you know I've owned several generators over the years I had um, Honda 2000s nice generator and everything um, but to me um, I just like not having to deal with them so solar power um, great for truck campers, gives you a lot of independence. Um, you can use it no matter where you're at, basically. Uh, you can be out in the middle of nowhere, and you can be drawing and manufacturing your own um, electricity, which is a really cool thing. So, with truck campers, of course, um, you're kind of limited on, um, on roof space, on real estate up there. On my truck camper, um, here on my North Star Laredo, I've got two 120 watt solar panels. Um, they provide me with most of my needs. Um, I considered installing a third solar panel on the um, the roof, but the thing is with truck campers is there's just not a lot of space up there. If I would have installed a third solar panel up there, I'd have no room to walk around to do maintenance or to do whatever I needed to do up there. So to me, that was just a non-starter. I didn't want to have three solar panels on the roof. So one option that's available to you is to um, purchase a portable solar power, um, solar panel system. Um, Renogy makes a, a really nice 100 watt uh, solar power system, um, portable one. They call it their um, portable suitcase. It's rated for 100 watts. It consists of two 50 watt panels. They have a hinge so you can collapse it down and um, it's really nice. Um, the things I like about this, of course, is you don't have to deal with um, a lack of roof space. Um, it gives you portability. You can move it in and out of shade um, based upon where you're camping or where you're um, parked for the night. Um, so you know, if you're dealing with um, shade and trees and stuff like that, you can maneuver it around to um, basically aim it toward the sun to optimize your, um, your output from uh, the solar panel. And of course, it, it has the ability to be tilted. Now, the ones on your roof, the panels on your roof are flat. And of course, sometimes, depending upon the angle of the sun, you know, you really don't get a lot of um, output from um, your solar panels on the roof, depending upon the time of day. Best time, of course, is in the middle of the day where the sun is the highest. And, um, and that's optimum. But with a portable solar panel, you can actually aim it toward the sun and tilt it toward the sun. So to me, that was really the best option to get that third panel up there that I really wanted. If you really want to do serious boondocking and uh, you really want to do have true independence, you got to have at least, in my opinion, um, two batteries, two Group 27 or um, golf cart batteries, 6-volt golf, golf cart batteries. Um, in my opinion, you need at least two. Um, to do what you really want to do to have true independence and to power all the appliances and things that you need um, For my for my rig. I've got this Dometic um, DC compressor refrigerator. I think eats up a lot of juice during the day um, As long as the Sun's out my two, my 240 watt system. I have plenty of, uh, of uh, power um, to um, to get this thing running to keep it running and to and power up all my other um, appliances and things that I, I like to do during the day. I like to have a live an inverter. I like to run that a lot uh, to charge up my laptops and to um, run my wife's appliances. She has a, a, a curling iron and a hair dryer that she likes to, to plug in and use. So, um, so we do have a lot of needs. 
um, when we're off grid. So for me, having the three panels was really optimum, um, especially when there's not a lot of sunlight. Let's say it's in the middle of winter and sometimes the, you know, the clouds are obscuring the sun. And of course the sun being low in the sky, I, I really need that third panel sometimes to get me over the hump. Um, otherwise, I'm, I'm really um, I'm not able to maintain my batteries like I want. You really don't want to let your batteries get below 12.2 volts. Um, that's something I try and um, achieve every day. Um, I monitor it here on my Zamp Solar um, charge controller. It's a PWM controller. Um, it meets my needs. You know, it's not as fancy and as um, inefficient as a. Uh, um, a maximum power point tracking um, uh, controller. But to me, this is all I really need. Um, for most truck hamper rigs, you'll be fine. So, again, just to kind of recap everything that I talked about, um, for your solar power system, if you really want to do some serious boondocking, get two batteries, um, two large batteries, and have two solar panels um, at a minimum. Um, three is better. Um, Four, of course, would be awesome, um, but for most people, that's just not practical for a truck camper. I mean, if you got a big Class A motor home, you got a big fifth wheel, where there's a lot of uh, real estate on the roof, you can put as many panels as you want and a number of batteries. But truck camper rigs, we're just kind of we're just limited. Um, two batteries is usually the max. You might be able to sling another one underneath with a hidden power um, battery system by Torque Lift. That's an option also. If you need more juice and you don't want to haul around a utility trailer or, or whatever. So, again, solar power, it's great. Those are some of the minimums I recommend. And if you're considering it, I highly recommend that you do it. Um, solar power is really the way to go. Um, it just uh, gives you true independence. It's quiet. I mean, who wants to listen to a generator when you're out in the middle of, uh, let's say you're on the, on the north rim of the Grand Canyon, or you're in some really pristine mount, along some uh, pristine mountain lake or whatever. You know, the last thing you want to hear is a generator chattering around in the distance or next to you. And you have to deal with the fumes, too. Who wants to deal with the fumes? So solar power, it's great to have. Highly recommend it. And, um, again, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, um, um, you can... Um, Put your comments here in the video, or you can shoot me an email. You know my email, uh, truckcamperadventure.com. You can contact me. Just click on the link and uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions about solar power or anything related to truck campers in general. So that's it. Talk to you later.